Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about Irish coats of arms and Irish family tartans, if there is such a thing. And I think the first point I want to cover is Irish family tartans, there is no such thing, and your ancestors would be turning over in their grave if they thought you were running around in a tartan, seeing that it was their tartan and it was a traditional family tartan. There just wasn't such a thing. Now, tartans are a Scottish family tradition, and uh, they're linked to the clan, and they're beautiful, and I wouldn't mind having a tartan myself going in the store and picking one out. But it just is a fact that it there never was in the 1800s and the 1700s, and uh, I think there's been a couple of books in the in the 20th century that came out to try to sell more car- tartan cloth, and uh, they even, I think, made an attempt to name a tartan for each county, but that was never so in history, so... Be true to history and uh, be true to your ancestors and get the facts. You can find more out about that uh, if you go to my website. I've had it on my blog and I've had it on several of my podcasts. One other quick note, the Ulster Quick uh, uh, King of Arms settled a dispute between the O'Connor Don and the O'Connor of Milltown County, Roscommon. They had a big fight over uh, how the Chief Herald said they would have to spell their name. And the truth of the matter was the Chief Herald showed them that both of their ancestors spelled the name with one N and with two N's in O'Connor, and that the spelling really wasn't important. It was the sound of the name that counted. So all you family researchers out there, keep that in mind. Even the nobles of Ireland had fighting over the spelling, and it really wasn't uh, the most important thing now, was it? 